Hello guys, I'm Dean and this is Brew Better. In this series, we'll be explaining to you how we brew the coffees that we roast and how to enjoy these coffees better. For today, I'll be brewing Philippines Mount Apo Bacopa Anaerobic Honey. This coffee is from Balotakay Bansalan, Davao del Sur, um, produced by Rosemary Rupesho. It is a anaerobic honey processed coffee, Katimor and Tipica varietal and planted at 1,500 meters above sea level. For this coffee, we taste lemon zest, mandarin orange, and black tea. I'll be brewing this coffee with an aeropress using the inverted method. This is an immersion which will somehow help me achieve a heavier body, yet a complex and flavorful cup. I have preheated everything beforehand from the filter to the chamber. For my recipe, I'll be using 15 grams of coffee, ground to a medium setting with 7.5 clicks from an EK43S. With this, I'll follow a 1.5 ratio so I could extract a concentrate which will make a difference later on. For the water temp, it's 90 degrees Celsius with a 110 ppm. I'll be using two paper filters for this brew for a cleaner cup. First, I'll be putting in the coffee to the chamber. Then, I'll add 75 ml of water. I chose not to have a blooming face as I found out that there's not much of a difference when stirred properly. I'll be stirring this coffee for 10 times and let it steep for 2 minutes. And after 2 minutes, next step is to plunge this coffee to a sturdy server like a metal jug. You may have to do it fast and swirl it before plunging to prevent the coffee from sticking onto the sides of the chamber. So now we have a concentrate. With this resulting brew, and since this is sort of a concentrate, you may enjoy it two ways. If you want it cold, you can pour it over ice, and if you want it hot, you can stretch it out like an Americano. For this recipe, I'll be adding 50 ml of water. You may add 10 ml each time you taste and test it until you achieve your desired taste experience with this coffee. And now it's done, it's time to enjoy a good cup. So, until the introduction, you'll be experiencing lemon zest followed by the sweetness of mandarin orange. On the second sip, I can also taste tropical fruit like mango, followed by a black tea finish. Overall, we have achieved a heavier body of this coffee, yet a flavorful one. Always remember that the best coffee is the coffee that suits you. Feel free to share with us your brewing method and experience with this coffee. Cheers and don't stop brewing! Ayaw lang huwag